Holla! And hello. Thank you so much for joining me today, where we get to talk about money. I like money. Hello, Erica. That's the channel. Go check it out. She has a lot of very interesting looking videos. I can't watch any of these because I don't react to stuff until it's a year old. But these all look fantastic. Go check out her channel. But today, cost of living in Germany. Ha <laughs> ha. I love it. Very interesting topic. Let's react. For whatever reason you moved or are planning to move to Germany, be it because of the mm. affordable education, a job opportunity, or you just- Wrong, I'm just making a YouTube reaction. Can't get enough- Why didn't you say that? Of those German sausages. Nevertheless, there's a lot to think and research about before making that big step. So here I present to you a video covering all the basic living expenses in the Federal Republic of Germany. If you are the type of person Excellent. that would like to have a roof above their head, then you should consider your housing situation. In Germany, it's- Even the weirdest people I know still enjoy a roof over their head. Really depends on what city you live in. So in Berlin, the capital of Germany, a single bedroom apartment in the city center on average will cost you 1,233 euros and 43 cents. That's it? How is that possible at all? The center of Berlin is 1,233 euros, which a euro is even less than USD right now. Yeah, a euro is less, like 10% less than USD. So this is equivalent to like 1,000 one hundred dollars or less about one, about eleven hundred dollars that's insane I, I cannot believe that in the center of berlin that is a bargain outside the center 896 euros and 56 cents and that's still in berlin we're talking nine hundred dollars then the same apartment in the city center of Munich, which is one of the most expensive German cities, on average will cost you around 1,382 euros and 92 cents. And that's one of the most expensive. Outside the center, 1,000... I mean, don't get me wrong. It ain't like that super cheap. Obviously here in Bum F, Indiana. That's expensive for a one bedroom apartment. That's very expensive. But we're not talking about bum F Indiana, middle of nowhere. We're talking about Munich, center of the city. And it's only $1,300. I mean, here where I live, one bedroom apartment would be like $800. And once again, this is euros, so it's actually only like $1,200. That's crazy. 42 euros and 82 cents. I, so thought, I thought the cost of living was really high. That's why I'm kind of confused. 14% difference. Like I know the housing market is crazy in Germany. But a smaller, less known city like Dresden a single bedroom apartment in the city center will be around 550 what? euros. And Guys, is this a week? She needs to tell me, is this a, is this a week? No, this is a month, right? What? Dresden? That's not even like a no name city. I, I know Dresden. 22 cents. And no wonder you guys don't buy houses, you just rent apartments. Outside the city, 439 euros and nine cents. So they're the giving them away. Prices really range from 300 euros for a shared flat in a more affordable area to 3,000 euros for a three bedroom apartment in an expensive city center. 3,000 is like, that's how much you would have to pay to live in the city center of New York in a, in a, in an apartment this big, literally this big. Okay, this big. Yeah. Center. 
if sadly the Wi-Fi is not included in your rent, on average a single person will be spending about 48 euros per month on mobile and that's not bad. Internet. Wait, mobile and internet? Only 48? Moreover, it is good to remember I pay 70 for just internet. For the additional relocation costs, such as the deposit, which can climb up to two or three month cold rent. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. An American truck. Whoa. I bet that's exactly what you guys assume every ad is like here in America. I need to be right. As soon climb up to two or three month cold rent. Cult meter. Plus. That's pretty crazy, but. Sooner or later, you might get a letter saying you need to pay the radio and cable bills, even though you don't use these services or you don't even speak German. <laughs> the fee will be around 18 euros 36 cents a month per household. And last but not least, it is important to know that for some reason unfurnished apartments mean that you most likely will not have a kitchen. <laughs> right. That's crazy. Okay. You know what? They better not charge me $3,000 if there's no kitchen. Just some pipes and a bucket. If you don't want to hear your stomach growling from- And I'm way too cheap to wear. I would not go buy a kitchen. I would have the jankiest setup. I would just buy like the faucet and have it hang in there off the wall. And a pipe. To like pour the water into. It, it would be janky. From days on end, I would recommend going grocery shopping from time to time. Food prices in Germany are generally considered to be quite low, especially compared to those of neighboring countries. Hmm. It is largely because Germany produces... Six forty nine for a box of Pop-Tarts. Okay, I haven't bought Pop-Tarts in forever. I'm trying to see the bananas. Time to time. Food prices in Germany are... Ge it is hmm. largely because Germany... I love these ones, though, as a kid. They can't be good for you. None of these can be good for you, though. ...produces and grows a lot of its own food within its advanced agriculture industry. But like in most countries, the basic costs of living spiked up nonetheless. The main difference in pricing you will find between large cities and small towns. Ba that actually makes me want to check up on the old inflation chart. Germany inflation chart, you know, like year over year monthly chart. Because inflation was real bad. What the heck? It was really bad in Germany. Oh my god. Are you serious? Is that accurate? 2.5%? Is that accurate? This is the consumer price index year over year. What? Oh my gosh. Inflation is over, folks. That's straight up low. You guys run out of low inflation, huh? 1.9 to 2%, like 1 to 2% usually. That's pretty exciting, though. I'm glad that's over with, hopefully. Basic food prices vary according to where you shop. But these prices are the average for Germany. One liter of milk, 70 cents. That's pretty cheap. I mean, I remember a day where you could buy a gallon for a dollar, which is even cheaper than this. Because there's at least two liters in a gallon. A loaf of bread. Now I have to look it up. How many gallons? Oh my God, there's almost four liters in a gallon. Bread, one euro 30 cents. 12 eggs, one euro 82 cents. Also, mm. that's cheap. So we have these hard boiled colored eggs that are sold year round. 500 grams of local cheese, four euros 45 cents. One kilogram of chicken breast. Okay, there we go. Seven euros 32. Okay, okay. I, I mean, 
this can be a wide range, you know, it depends if it's organic and stuff, but that's, you know, pretty normal. Sense. Like compared to America. One kilogram of rice. I'm not saying America's normal. I just mean normal for me. Calm down, guys. I know. The rest of the world does exist. I acknowledge this. <laughs> Two euros, nine cents. A kilo of bananas, one euro, 63 cents. Okay. How many kilos in a pound? Sorry, guys. This is difficult. Oh, man. 2.2 .2 pounds. That is pretty freaking cheap. You get a lot of, I mean, bananas are cheap here too. Cents. You can get a banana for about 25 cents. One kilo of potatoes, 97 cents. One bottle of mid-range wine for 99. Nice. <laughs> that rhymed. Half a liter of local beer, 76 cents. One pack of cigarettes, six euros, 40 cents. Oh, wow. That's cheap too. Cigarettes here are now $10 a pack. Mostly because of like taxes and stuff. But yeah, they're like 10 bucks a pack. I don't know how anyone can afford to smoke. I don't smoke, but this one is expensive. 150 to 200 grams of Harry Bose, one euro five cents for a typical shopping experience. That's cheaper than here in America. The Harry Bose be expensive here. This bag of gummy bears would not be 99 cents. It would be like $1.60 grams of Harry Bows. Maybe two. One euro five cents. For a typical shopping experience, you have your Rave or knockoff and Etika. If you prefer collecting as many steps as possible while shopping, with reasonable prices, I recommend Kaufland. And if you're looking for some more financial Never stability in your life, budget-friendly supermarkets Aldi. like Aldi, Little, Netto, and Penny are always there for you. Somewhere. Plus, yeah, I mean. Aldi is like the budget-friendly supermarket here in America, too. Mainly because they have these brands that no one has ever heard of. It's like weird knockoff brands, <laughs> honestly. They do have name brand stuff as well, some, some name brand stuff. But they have a lot of interesting suppliers that I've never heard of. I mean, it's good, though. I, I like going to Aldi's. Plus, don't throw away your plastic or glass bottles. Yes, Since yes, 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 of course. Unwillingly this is Germany 101. Uh, the Pfund. The Pfund. Paid a deposit for them called Pfund. It's usually around 8 to 25 cents per bottle. It might not be much, but it adds up, especially if you're a big fan of Diet Coke. Oh, man. Yeah, I love Coke Zero. So a single person household will spend approximately 180 to 200 euros per month on groceries. That's pretty cheap. A couple will spend approximately 369. Nice. <laughs> Whether you're on a date or after a long day at work, you might want to dine out or do some takeout. A meal at a cheap restaurant for one will How be much for a donor kebab? Because I never had one. Oh, look at this. We got chicken nuggets. Six to seven crunchy homemade chicken nuggets. <laughs> is, <laughs> is this like an American restaurant? Because it's in English. Finger food. Burger amped. Dear customers, the burgers are grilled medium on the burger-amped grill. All burgers are served on a bun baked fresh daily. Oh, that's nice. The preparation of the burgers usually takes 10 to 20 minutes. I love how, how much detail you get on these menus. They're not telling you on the menu how long it's going to take to cook your burger here in America. <laughs> I'm just like looking at this stuff. It's interesting. Chili cheese bomb. Smoky pig. <laughs> Be around 11 euros. A mid-range restaurant for two people will add up around 57 euros. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty expensive. I guess mid-range, yeah. I'm a, I'm, I'm pretty cheap, guys. I'm pretty cheap. So to me, 
Yeah, you can easily spend that much. And if I take my wife out somewhere, she will find a way to. But you could also just spend like 25, 30 bucks if you, if you uh, try to not spend a lot. A fast food combo will cost you 9 euros 70 cents. Woof. Yeah, it's about the same here in America, but man, that's crazy how it did not used to be this way, guys. Take it from someone who's old. It did not used to be this way. You used to be able to get a fast food combo for like $5. $4.50. But an average price for a Big Mac is €5.89. In restaurants, a tip is generally... Whoa, what is this? ...generally expected. Since waiting tables is among, that looks good. among the lowest paying jobs. But if you are not satisfied with the services, it is not necessary to leave a tip at all. In Germany, you tip <laughs> when you settle your bill with your food server. You will include the Trinkgeld amount during the process. Many what is that? people simply round off the bill to the next euro or add a couple more. That's it! <laughs> round off the bill as your tip that's yeah it must be nice so five to ten percent at a restaurant is appreciated while 15 percent tip is considered very generous and american <laughs> and but the thing is here in america 15 percent would be considered low coffee in one hand and a pastry in the which i don't even care anymore 15 percent used to be considered normal now 22 percent is normal and i don't care i still do i do around 15 to 20 depends how much i like them hey it's that pretzel thing the other hand what can be a better combo Sitting down in a cafe or bakery can cost you a bit more than taking it away. The average cost of a cup of cappuccino is around three euros fifty cents. For okay, I mean that's cheap, but that makes sense because it's tiny. For a medium, a German pastry. That's a medium. On the other hand, can vary from one fifty to four ninety, depending on where and what you get. Transportation. There are many ways to get around town yeah. or country other than on foot. Public transport in Germany is a solid B. First and foremost, bikes. They are definitely not as popular as the Netherlands since the country isn't as flat and sinking. But you do see people on their bikes from time to time with a safety helmet. Is she gonna talk about how much this costs? Infrastructure also different. I'm like a little bit confused. First from city to city. Nevertheless, sports bikes are their first choice. Okay. A single bus, tram, metro, U-Bahn, and S- I mean, I guess a bike is free after you buy the bike. Bond trips usually cost between 280 to 350. But it depends on the distance you're traveling. Like most countries, you pay bus fares on the bus, otherwise you won't get in. But when it comes <laughs> to trams and metros, those require an outsider machine that is sometimes confusing to operate. A passenger without a valid ticket can face a fine of 40 to 60 euros. For long distance travel, to see your long- I mean, if you get away with it 20, 20 out of 21 times, it might be worth it, guys. <laughs> Don't do that. Long distance friends, we have trains. A single ticket prices range from 5 to 200 euros depending on the distance. And it's best five bucks for a train ticket. That is crazy. Best to buy the ticket in advance as early as possible because the la crazy cheap. Later you book it, the higher the prices will get. Monthly mm, subscriptions good tip. also exist based on your region. It can range from 60 to 200 euros depending on the city. That includes all kind of transportation, or you can get a bond card for reduced rates and discounts. However, if you have 4,144 euros to spare, you can buy the ultimate bond card 100 for a year's worth of travel anywhere and everywhere at any time. As a student, you get your regional travel. Oh my God. It might be worth it. $4,000 for the year to go anywhere, everywhere, anytime. 
It might be. I mean, that's crazy. I don't know. It might be worth it, though. Ultimate bond card, 100. I mean, how much is that, though? That's kind of a lot. That's like over $10 a day. For a year's worth of travel anywhere and everywhere at any time. As a student, you'd have to travel a lot. Your regional travel covered by the university, which is pretty convenient. Nice. Nonetheless, it is rumored that next year in January, there will be a universal German monthly travel subscription for 49 euros, which is pretty dope. Even though Germans love their cars, owning one is not cheap, especially regarding fuel, insurance, parking, and maintenance. Mm, I'm interested in the fuel. Because I know gas is expensive over there, especially after the whole extravaganza in the East. <laughs> Let's call it that. Maintenance. On average, you will be spending at least 520 euros a month with the car not included. So if you have a driver's license... With the car not included? I don't even spend that much with the car included. Doesn't mean you should use it. But on average, people are spending 214 euros a month on traveling, whether by train or car. If Look at that thing, Twizzy. Employed, you will spend 14.6% off your gross income on public health insurance. The employer contributes half of it. Therefore, employees pay only 7.8% oh, of their, okay. nice. their gross income. Nonetheless, on average, a person spends around 67 euros a month on their health. That 67 a month, not me. Not me. Includes medication and prescription. <laughs> I mean, America's way more expensive, but I mean, not me, because I just don't buy any of this stuff. I might spend like five bucks a month, get some ibuprofen. That's about it. But I don't buy that every month. So yeah, I don't know. Prescription. All other expenses are covered by the health insurance. However, self-employed- Must be nice. Employed people and people with salaries above 64,350 euros can opt for a private coverage, which can save you a buck or two. It can save you money? Oh my gosh. You either hate or love shopping, or maybe it depends on your mood that day. But every now and then you need to buy some new clothes or toilet paper. Address I do have to say that private insurance is about the same cost as American health insurance here. It said 400 to 700 euros. Yeah, a month, yeah, yeah. This from Zara can cost you 37 euros on average and a pair of Nike running shoes mid-range around 82 euros. Plus- Why are shoes so expensive? I never understood. I always thought, what a great business to be in. It's just like foam and some fabric and rubber. There must be something to it though. They're all very expensive. If you happen to find a cinema in the shopping mall, expect to pay around 12 or 15 euros. Popcorn not included. If you're... Same, same. That's a tiny popcorn. Around 12 or 15 euros. Popcorn not included. You guys should see the popcorn here in America. I mean, yeah, I guess you could get this, but this would be the small. Included. And um, the large is huge. I'm looking at this popcorn. It looks almost different. How is popcorn different in Germany? It literally looks different. Maybe that's just that one piece or something. I don't know. If you are looking for something secondhand, maybe even a kitchen for your unfurnished apartment, oh, eBay yeah. Kleinerzeige is a great right eBay great option for that. The only thing to consider is that you might need to pick up the stuff by yourself. So that, that driver's license can really come in handy. The number one online store is Amazon.de, which is not surprising to anyone. Unfortunately, items like board games with English descriptions cost extra and sometimes is really hard to come by. <laughs> Student yeah, I mean, that makes sense since the fulfillment centers in Germany probably aren't carrying English board games that much. Life. Being a student in Germany is pretty advantageous. You get free regional transportation, 
museum and fitness discounts, free bank accounts, tax reductions, and more. You do get a free bank account and stuff. And a lot of businesses here in America, I mean, and a lot of businesses will have well, businesses within a town that has a university will usually have like a student discount. Even though some German universities require some amount of tuition fees, the majority of them are free. The only catch is you most likely need to know German. It must be nice. If that's not a problem for you... You need to know German? <laughs> How rude. To go study in Germany? <laughs> to take a... If you go to university at a German university, you have to know German. This is an outrage. I am discriminated against and I will not stand for it. They should have to teach every lesson in every language. <laughs> the only catch is you most likely need to know German. If that's not a problem for you, you're all good. The only university payment you need to take care of as an international student in Germany is a so-called semester contribution. A fixed amount of money you pay for specific university services like travel, administrative assistance, sports facilities, dining halls, and so on. Sounds expensive. In conclusion, it would be hard to get by- Still nowhere near as expensive as American university. For less than a thousand euros a month in Germany. And this rises to around 1,500 to 2,000 euros in the city where rents are. That's pretty crazily cheap. <laughs> 1,500 a month. That's like 20,000 a year. That's remarkable. You could not live in the city here for 20,000 a year. At least not most cities. Are higher. If you are living a student life, 850 euros a month can cover your basic wow. living costs. With the recent minimum wage rise of 12 euros an hour, if you are working nice. 8 hours 5 days a week, that rounds up to $7.50 here in America. <laughs> euros after taxes. That covers your basic costs in a medium or small sized city. However, earning above minimum wage will get you the opportunity to live in a bigger city or the city center, live on your own, or have a higher standard. Look at all the open windows. In a bigger city. Look, people actually have their windows open. Amazing. <laughs> or the city center. You don't see that very often here in America. Live on your own or have a higher standard of living, such as owning a cat or going to a... <laughs> That's the higher standard of living, having a cat. I have a cat and it does not hire my standard of living. No offense to my cat. I hire her standard of living. You know what I mean? I scoop its poop and feed it. Cafe and getting a cup of coffee with oat milk. That always costs extra. <laughs> fantastic video go check out hello arika link down below that was really cool very insightful thank you so much for watching anybody who stuck around for half an hour um time to get back to work okay guys go back to work thank you for watching go back to work <laughs> just kidding have a great day and a great week i'll see you tomorrow